paper usually belongs to a major research exist and which we are so still well. Hello. Hello everyone. from the Federal University of Paraíba and I'm here to present the paper Importance of EMT Type Simulations for Protection Studies in Power Systems with Invertebrated Resource. This work was developed in partnership with Moisés Davi and Mario Lescovis from the University of São Paulo and with Giovanni Fabrício from the Federal Institute of Santa Catarina. It is well known that renewable generations have been increasingly used and in this context, the invertebrated resource, called here as IBRs, such as the wind turbine generations of type 3 and 4 and photovoltaic generations, these IBRs stand out because they have resulted in the typical short circuit contributions and this atypical behavior has affected the protection performance. Thus, there are several professionals which are interested in proper representing the IBRs for protection studies purpose. Historically, phasor domain simulations have been used, but we know that in these simulations, simplified models are typically applied, and it has led the electromagnetic transient simulations to gain importance because they are capable of represent any transient event depending on the, the model used. So the question here is, uh, what are the technical aspects that could justify the use of EMT type simulation in protection studies? The, the goal of this paper is to answer this question, providing some evidences in some cases that can justify the use of these uh, detailed models uh, available in electromagnetic transit simulations. This table compares the EMT type simulations and phasor domain simulations. Starting with the EMT type simulations, we can say that they are capable of representing wide band frequency spectrum and to, to simulate higher frequencies, small time steps are required which result in time consuming simulations. We know that in, in this type of simulations, there are some difficulties to initialize EMT simulations when several IBRs are considered in the same simulation case. But we have to recognize that even with these drawbacks, uh, a detailed grid and control modeling is possible. On the other hand, when we consider phase of domain simulations, we know that they focus only on the fundamental component such so that large time steps can be used, reducing the simulation computing time. They are also easier to initialize simulations when several IDRs are considered in the same simulation case, but as mentioned earlier, typically these, these simulations consider oversimplified models, which can be unrepresentative depending on the transient events that can affect the protection and the, the transient events that we would like to, to analyze during the protection study. So based on this comparison, we can conclude that there are additional complexities when we decide to, to use electromagnetic transit programs. But these programs are those which can indeed accurately represent IBRs under fault conditions, including all the transit events that we want to see, that we want to analyze during a protection study obviously considering the presence of IBR. So, just to, to demonstrate an atypical variation that can take place in the presence of IBR, I present here a real fault case. This is a, a real single phase to ground fault taken from a Brazilian transmission line that interconnects an, uh, an IBR. And we know that when we consider phasor-based protection, there is an inherent uh, phasor stabilization period, which results from the length of the data window used by phasor filters. Basically, uh, due to such a data window, 
when the system passes from the pre-fold condition to the fold condition, there is a theoretical phasor stabilization period, which is of about one power cycle in this case here. And after that, we would expect to have a very stable fold period in a well-defined condition. But in the presence of IBR, we can, say, we can see that th there are some variations in magnitude and angle that can take place. And it results in different fault conditions during the fault period. And it imposes some difficulties on protection functions that cannot be properly represented sometimes using phasor domain simulations. Just to better demonstrate such a problem, here we provide some results obtained from simulated case in which we represented this system here, which is a transmission line connecting an IBR here, and here is the power grid. And basically we are protecting this line considering the local relay. Uh, two grid codes were considered. One is an European grid code and the other one is an American grid code. The difference between each between both is that one considers the reactive power injection during the fold period and the other one doesn't inject doesn't inject uh, reactive power but what we can see here is that comparing the IBRs in, in this case we consider that full converted generation with these two grid codes and we compare them with a conventional synchronous generation we can see that the trajectories they, they change from one case to another and some of these trajectories such as this one here for the external fold uh, we can see that some of these trajectories can jeopardize the protection performance. But using phasor domain simulation, we could not see these trajectories because they depend on the simulation of different frequencies of transient events and they cannot be represented in phasor domain simulations. The same can be concluded if we consider a crowbar operation in a type 3 wind power uh, generation. And here again, we can see some oscillations in the apparent impedance trajectory calculated by the distance relay, which could pose problems here in the, the protection performance. Again, these events are transient in nature and they cannot be represented in phasor simulations. So, um, considering these problems, we have also, and we want also to, to emphasize that there are some promising technologies which are defining the EMTP modeling recommendations. We consider here that we have already proven the need for considering EMTP to analyze protection in the presence of IBRs. But for instance, we know that providing a protection decision before the control operation can be promising. And travel away based protections can do so such that they have attracted the attention from utilities. But in this case, we are interested in transient analysis so that there are some EMTP modeling recommendations to be respected and to be considered. And among them, we would like to, to emphasize the frequency dependence of line parameters. Uh, this frequency dependence must be represented because ground and air remote travel waves, as well as reflected and transmitted travel waves, they are affected by such a frequency dependence of line parameters. So it must be represented. The earth resistivity uncertainties must be also considered uh, such that the, the soil must be accurately model, modeled if possible because ground mode travel waves influence aero mode one due to the mixing mode phenomena. And also the line termination features because the connection lines of IBRs are usually terminated by transformers and they attenuate current travel waves and in this case, the stray capacitances over the transformer and, the, and at the bus bar, they must be represented. So, as conclusions, we can say that EMT type simulations are quite important in the context of protection studies and power systems with IBRs. And indeed, there are some transient events that take place in addition to the typical phasor stabilization period. And these transient events cannot be represented by phasor domain simulations, which uh, uh, put in evidence the importance of using EMT type simulations. Um, another aspect that reinforced the need of uh, EMTP modeling 
is the technologies that are promised in this context, like travel and wave based protection, which require EMTP to, to analyze these protection functions. And we recognize that there is an additional complexity when we decide to use EMTP, but a realistic modeling is guaranteed. So, in this sense, open source standardized EMTP IBR models are very welcome because we expect to see EMTP being more and more used in protection studies in the pre for power systems with IBRs. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. Paper usually belongs to a major research. Exists, uh, which we are so well. Hello.